Hello, this is Kato Chan Place, and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today, guys, I'll be showing you how to make this super simple and really effective um, keycard activated door inside of Minecraft. Now, this is a really simple setup, but this can be used to protect anything you like, uh, as long as the person trying to get into your stuff doesn't have a pickaxe. But yeah, this is this is gonna be really fun to make and a really just nice and simple circuit. So if you like the sound of that. Please make sure to drop a like on the video, and if you really enjoy it, then please make sure to subscribe, share this video with your friends, and make sure to turn on notifications, um, so you get notified every time a new video comes out. But anyway guys, let's get right into this. So, the setup we have here, we have a door, an iron door, we can't open it with our hand, I'm trying here, but you can't. Um, all we have to do, is we have to open up this dropper, place in our keycard, and hit the dropper, and there we go, you can see our door, it opens up, and we can press this button on the other side to close it, and open it back up again, and you'll see we have our keycard here, we can close the door back up again, take it back out, and we can walk off happy with ourselves, so this is a nice, a nice keycard system uh, using a book, so in here we just have anything written um, by you specifically, so no one else can recreate it, so anyway, Let's show you how we build this. So, you're going to want to start off by making a 3 by 7 wall. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, and so, this is all of that is um, you don't need those blocks down there. That's just the bottom of the wall. So, here we go. We want to make it 3 tall. And then we're going to remove this block down here. Then, we're going to make ourselves a nice doorway. Um, just like this, and this is, where our, this is where our iron door is going to be going in a second, so there we go, we can place down our platform just like this, and then you're going to want to break a hole in there for your dropper. Uh, then what we're going to want to do is we're just going to start grabbing some of the redstone components that we're going to need uh, for later on. So once I've got all of these, I can grab my iron door and place it right in here. Now as I said in here, we're going to be grabbing ourselves a dropper like this, and we're going to have it facing outwards like this. Then we're gonna shift and have a hopper running into that. And then we're going to start placing some blocks. So what we're going to want here is a kind of U shape of blocks. Then like this, we're going to place some like this, I'm going to have this kind of setup going on. Then we want one block here and a sticky piston underneath. Now for the next side we're going to be having two blocks coming out like this, a block down and a block here with a sticky piston with a block in its face right there. Uh, next what we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing down a furnace here with um, a block of your choice inside. I'll just place an iron with a comparator running out of that. Then you're going to want to place some redstone dust in front of that. One under here, and three running along like this. Then we're going to have ourselves a comparator running out of this drop hopper with, a, with it in subtract mode. And then we're going to place a redstone torch underneath the hopper. Our next step is we're going to be grabbing ourselves some repeaters uh, just like this and we're going to want to place one here and one here. Now your next step is to take a sticky piston, place it here and place a redstone block on its face. Then we can grab ourselves two blocks like this and place redstone on top of them. Now all of this here, this is all of the circuitry complete. All we need to do now is add in some buttons and the actual keycard mechanism itself. So, let's grab ourselves some buttons and a book and quill as well. So, we want to place one of our buttons on this dropper and the other button right here. Now, the way we're going to make this keycard system actually work is what we want to do is, um, well, you can place any item that stacks to 16 in here, make sure it fills up all the uh, slots and you can have your item of choice be a random item like that. However, if you want to make it really secure, you should make yourself a keycard like I've done here. So, 
all we're going to do is we're going to open a new book. Uh, we're going to start by just saying, um, uh, let's say, sub, subscribe, let's just say subscribe, okay? That's our book. We can sign it. We can call it, um, keycard, just like uh, this. And once we've done that, this is our new book. No one else can recreate it and have it right here, keycard. Uh, now we can get rid of this other one. Um, just, just throw it on the ground here. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to want to have six of these. Now if you're in, if you're in um, survival, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to make six individual copies of this. Um, if you're on PC, you can just use middle click to duplicate it. However, if you are on PlayStation 4 like I am, the trick I use to duplicate books is you're just going, going to want to place down some blocks and then place your books, your keycards and item frames and just break it like this, which ends up duplicating you some nice books like this when they all eventually update. There we go. Now I have six and we want to place five of them in individual slots here. So one, two, three, four, five and keep it like that. Now we can use our keycard to unlock it. So let's just see if I have nothing in the dropper, press the button, nothing happens and say nothing happens again. If I put in my keycard, however, and hit it, you should see, there we go, our door opens up. We can hit the button here, door closes behind us and it all works nice like that. So there we go, guys. It's some pretty simple circuitry here. All we have is a couple of monostable circuits and that causes this uh, piston to check out its block. Yep, there we go. And all this system does here with a keycard, it's just basically an item filter. If you get the right item in, it will activate this monostable circuit here. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is the entire contraption. It's really simple and really fun to use. So if you like this video, please make sure to drop a like on it. If you really enjoyed them, please make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. But anyway, guys, that has been it from me today. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.